Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Day trading live this morning. Every single day, day trading live. Good morning, Mastro. Good morning, Will. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Snap Snap. Good morning, Anthony. So I think a lot of people been looking at RK, RKDA this morning. That I think the small cap low flow uh, world is starting to pick up steam just a little, little bit. And guess who we have on live this morning? We have Learning to Day Trade Tom. Tom. Hello. What's up? Can you What's guys going on? can you guys hear him? Hopefully. Sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. You know? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they must be able to hear you. Good morning. Arcade. Good morning. Yeah, so Tom, I was uh, just talking about RKDA and now everyone on the live oh, they hear you. They hear you. Anyways, uh oh, everybody. Holy moly. Tom is in the house. Tom is in the house. Yes, finally. You guys have been wondering where learning to day trade Tom has been. I finally <laughs> went out and dragged him out <laughs> of the bar. Found me. <laughs> <laughs> found me on the street finally. <laughs> Anyways, I learned how to do screen share a little bit. So we're going to look at Tom's screen. Tom, is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at stuff right now. Just let me know when you turn that on. Okay. And I'll go, I'll go back to RKDA. Okay, let me uh, bump. Shrink this down a little bit. I got to pull this over. We might be, see weird things here. I don't really want to see a lot of weird things, but oh. Well, let me blow this up. Do you see, you see my screen real quick and everything on there? It's no big deal. Uh, let me blow this up right here. Boom. Okay, Tom, I got Boom. your screen on there. You see it? Oh, nice, I can see it. Yeah, so just uh, if you blow it up all the way and then you're, yeah, there it is. Nice, cool. Mm -hmm. So, everybody in the live stream, this is Tom's screen. Well, obviously, I guess you guys can figure that out. Anyway, Tom, if you could walk through RKDA a little bit, I would really love to hear your opinion on this. Okay, I got some good points. We don't have a lot of time either, so I'll try and make a quick time. Okay. So, I was screwing around with this earlier, you know, just drawing some trend lines, seeing where we're at here. Clearly, RKDA is going to be the one in play. Um, there's nothing else, I think, that looks that good. But there's some things to notice here on RKDA. So what I noticed here was, I'm not sure how much this will matter, but there is a descending trend line from these two tops that lines up exactly with the pre-market top here. So that'll act as decent resistance, right? It would right. be pretty hard to break through that, I think. So let's say if I get long somewhere down in here or, or even up here, my first target for sure is the pre-market high, which is also the top of that trend line there. So that's what I noticed. And then the other thing I noticed. And what is the pre-market high? Do you know? Um, the pre-market high is 350. Oh, 350. Okay. Yeah, 350. Okay. So <clears throat> the other thing I noticed here was that after it broke down through this level, which is also 350, uh, 350, after it broke down here under it and it couldn't reclaim it, that's, that's also 350, which is also, you, you see how all of this is kind of lining up right at 350 here? Yeah, yeah. So the only other thing after that I noticed was this the triple top or these because this is 335, this is 336, and this is 333. So if we go back to the one minute, you can see this all kind of lines up right around in here. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm looking for this trend, this trend here to kind of hold, or we could come back down and test, you know, something like this bottom right here. The 320 but, uh, area, okay. For sure. There's going to be a lot of action around 350 if we get there. I think if we get up to it, there's going to be a lot of resistance, and it's going to take a lot to break through. But if we do get above 350, like 360, 370, we come back down into 350, I think that'll be massive support. But I don't know what's going to happen. So That, sound, that sounds like a perfect plan. Jeez, all those things were lining up right around the 330, between 340 and 350 area. That is... Yeah. 
Uh, great look. So you're thinking if it gets over the 350 area and then cut or gets up closer to 360, well, comes back and that's the thing. it's gonna it's gonna have to yeah. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but what you were saying was correct. Yeah, if it if it bounces if it just busts through it, uh -huh. consolidates for maybe a minute or two, and you come back into it. I think that would be a great long, but I'm going to be playing this at the open. Like if this surges right at the open, I will be in it for sure. I got to, that's not just charting though. That's just kind of reading the buying and selling on the tape and what's happening, but it's all, there's, there's going to be a whole bunch of opportunity in here. I think different strategies. I, I agree. I agree. So th those are some great key levels, which you were just pointing out that 350 level and then down towards that 320 level anywhere down there. Maybe you just want to buy the washout and then for the quick pop or maybe you're just reading the tape kind of like you're going to do and just kind of play maybe over the 340 or 330 or somewhere around there. Yeah, I like I like what Storm Traders is saying. I think so, too. Like. I don't necessarily like it for the long either, if that's what he means, because there's just so much resistance right here. Mm -hmm. But if it tries to just pop into this, I probably would take it for a five or ten cent scalp. But I, I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. Right. Uh, I think there could be a big shakeout, but you know, this is the first one that's been up in a while, so maybe people are just gonna jump on this and it's gonna fly right up to. You know, we have room pretty much up to like three ninety, four dollars like maybe the highs right in here. So I don't know. Well, we got to see what happens. <laughs> 350 ish. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a huge level either way. 350 is a huge level either way. Yeah. So we know that. So this is a great game plan. Tom, it's so good to have you back on again. I've been wondering where you've been at. I've been trying to... Uh... You, I guess you've still been trading this whole time, right? Oh, every every day except for uh, last Thursday and Friday, I took it off, and those were the two biggest days on the spy. So whatever, I guess. <laughs> I hear you. Okay, so that's a great, great look at RKDA. That is something to be totally aware of is that 350 level. So many points line up on that 350 level. I feel like a lot of people are going to be going, seeing the same exact same thing you are, especially everyone in the live stream now sees the same thing you do. Yeah. Um, I guess you're going to see. Yeah, I mean, I could update you, but I guess you guys are all going to see what happens to it. This, this looks like at, at open, it could like can't maybe dip a bit and then just fly up to 350 i it really feels like that mm -hmm. but uh i i don't know it could just pop and then drop and then consolidate before going back up so we just again we just gotta wait okay perfect and i'm not sure you like to trade yourself through the open i'm not sure if you want to hang out through the open i could leave uh, you nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna get out of here <laughs> <laughs> I, I i know it i know it i know you like to trade i know you like to Much listen to pressure. your music I hear you. I hear you. Okay, Tom, I'm going to shrink this down and let you... Hold on. Let me try to get this over here. So, ah, uh, boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, Tom, it's so good to have you on this morning. I'm going to try to get ready for the market open also. So, I guess I will let you go and talk to you a little bit later. All right. Have a good one, y'all. All right. You too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So you heard Tom's plan. The market's going to open in like one minute. Please be prepared. Please be ready to go. You know my account's a little bit too low, so I'm just still paper trading. I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, my account funding, what's going on with that a little bit later, but let's just pay, pay attention to the stock market open right now and just please be careful. Remember to always trade your own plan, plan your own trade. Plan your own trade, trade your own plan. Thank you, thank you for learning to day trade. It's always great to have them on. That was a great, great look at the market. Great, great look at the market. Okay, the market's going to open like 25 seconds. Thank you all for being here today. Will, SG Christian, AU Job, Snap, Snap, Storm Traders, Anthony, Nice V, everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Here we go, here we go. What I like to see kind of is the washout for the quick pop or open washout boom, I call it. It could catch its feet down here somewhere around the 316, maybe $3, maybe 320s at the VWAP. Mark's gonna open in two seconds. Here we go, be patient, go. Boom, market's open, market's open. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Here we go, dropping down a little bit, dropping down 320s, 320s. 
Boom, catching its feet, catching its feet, trying to go, trying to go, trying to go. Boom, 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 boom. I don't trade the first 20 seconds of the market open, but look at that. Caught his feet right down at the VWAP. A lot of people are looking at the same things you are, and they're seeing everything. So if the risk management's there, get it, get it, get it. 339, 337, 329. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Look at the small cap world is alive. And, well, the, the small cap world is trying to push, trying to move, trying to start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right down to three dollars. Whoa, what was that? A little shakeout right there. Two ninety nine to three dollars. Look at that. Three oh eight. You know, there's prior su support, prior resistance. Remember to always be careful. Look at that. Boom. Three forty break invalid now. Will is saying three forty break. Ouch! That caught some people hard right there because you thought. What I was thinking is it was going to push right through that 340, right into that 350 resistance where Tom was talking about, but it kind of ripped your face off right there. This is the kind of stuff you have to be very, very careful about. WKHS is starting to move a bit. The WKHS is starting to move a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. I got my eye on that. I'm still looking at OMI also, but look at this. Catching its feet right down by the $3. People ain't done with this. This thing has a lot of momentum. People, are prob maybe they're not done with it. Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I hate to say anything towards one way or the other right now because I'm not, my account isn't funded and I just need to put my money where my mouth is. Put my money where my mouth is and just really get this going. Yeah, that's the shakeout I was talking about. Storm Traders was talking about that and that's what Tom was basically agreeing with right there. Basically agreeing with, whoa. If you could, there could have been some quick money. Look at this, the opening range breakout, uh, three, what I call the, or the, uh, look at this. Boom, boom, I forget, the three minute opening range. Boom, 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 look at that. Boom, you can use the low of that candle. Other people use the opening range. They wait till it breaks above, but there's not enough room to into that 350 up there. Will it break the 350? Who really knows, who really knows? Look at that, right down to the $3. Three dollars, two minutes, two minutes it dropped down, three minutes. Remember, we used, I was testing this. I'm testing this still, actually. Two minutes, look at that. Boom, straight. This thing is a danger, danger, danger zone. I don't know where I would get in. I don't know what I would do on this. This thing is going down for the first three minutes now. Down for the three, first three. WKHS is uh, going straight to the moon. WKHS is going straight to the moon. WKHS, I'm going to give this one two more minutes. If this one doesn't end up moving, I'm probably going to WKHS. I might be a little bit late on WKHS, but let's see what happens with RKDA. Since, uh, since I'm not day trading live with real money right now, I'm going to be a little bit more patient. I like to be a little bit more patient, but if you want to find a play, maybe WKHS if you're looking for the long side. MPTN is also moving a little bit, but SND try, has tried to move just a tiny bit, but everything else is going down. Look at If this stock goes down for the first five minutes, I consider it a dead, dead stock. There were a couple plays on here, but you would have had to have been quick, and there, you probably it probably wouldn't even have reached your profit target but if you were scalping there may have been some money in here i just do not it's so hard i just do not see it i just do not understand and i do not see it i don't i don't know what's going on here boom 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 look at three minutes four minutes straight down Somebody was saying in the Discord, in the uh, in the Discord, I believe I was reading it. Somebody was saying there's a huge hidden seller right at 340, right at 340. Whoever was saying that, I think, is totally correct. Is <laughs> totally correct because you must have been seeing something in there. I really wasn't watching the market too closely this morning, but I I heard that in the Discord. Someone saying a hidden seller, hidden seller, hidden seller. Boom, boom, boom. AMRN. Anthony says, A oh, I forgot about AMRN. I actually, AMRN is probably a good one. AMRN. Anthony saying AMRN. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Coming right down into this, though. 292. Look at right in the middle of that consolidation. 282. Usually, I think a stock's dead if it continues down for the first five minutes. But with RKDA, this is the first stock that kind of held its gains was hanging out above everything so i think this one still could have hope sometimes i switch things around in my rules i should never do that but sometimes when a stock 
goes down, it's right into that prior resistance, prior support, right where it broke out last time. Look where it broke out this morning at 290 area. 290 area broke right out, and it has prior support, prior resistance right by the 270s. 270 area, look at that. It's building a bear flag, though. Look at that bear flag it's building. Please be careful. AU job says KPTI. KPTI is at 926. Good, good look, Kate. AU job, seriously, you have had some great trading lately. Some great, great stuff. Great, great stuff. The only reason I'm just staying with RKDA right now is because I still think this one still could turn. If this one can turn around basically right where it's at. It's gonna. It has high hope still. If it gets below all this stuff right here, but even below the 250 area, I think it's dead, completely dead. But right here, it just is not looking dead to me. Look at that support resistance. Support resistance from 280s to three dollars. But that three dollars over its head is gonna be a little bit hard to get through. If it can get through that three dollars, it could start looking a lot, lot better, a lot, lot better to me. This stock has so much volume. You see how RKDA is moving? You see the volume on this thing? It is moving so, it has great volume. This is what I love to see. This is what I can understand. These are the types of books I can read or types of stocks I can read. I can read this stuff. I, You know what I see right now? It's selling, selling, selling. Selling, selling, selling. But look, anytime it's getting down there, support resistance. Look at now, green, green, green. Four, 4,000 in there. Boom, boom, boom. 1,700. Boom, boom, boom. This thing still has hope. Still has hope. S-I-E-N. S-G Christensen's going S-I-E-N. S-I-E-N. Yep, S-I-E-N is high alert, actually. S-I-E-N is high alert. Boom, boom, boom. S-I-E-N is high alert. S-I-E-N, I'll see if it can get to 400,000 volume. There is LXRX starting to pop up a little bit. If S-I-E-N can get, here we go, RKDA. Here you go, RKDA, get through that $3. You can do it, you can do it. It does, the next stop has that VWAP over its head is the only problem. Whoever was, uh, had that, that hidden seller, or if there was a hidden seller around 340, probably covering down here. Look how much money that is. That's a lot of money if somebody really was uh, getting a short position or something by that 340 area. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. S I E N is starting to move. Oh, man. I think S I E N, I'm going to have to go look at it. Boom. S I E N, high alert. S I E N is high alert. S I E N is high alert. High alert. High alert. High alert. Look at this. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. If it can get through that a little bit. And there are shares to short on this, but this thing has been bottoming out, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. This could be the reversal point, the time for it to go up. The 200 is up by the $10. Over the $10, S-I-E-N is looking pretty good to me. Is looking good to me. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Look at that. We see this pattern all the time. If you can get there before this part right here, but how do you really get there? You would have had to have your eyes on this. Maybe this stock was on your watch list from before, and it could just be going, high alert, high alert, storm traders, high alert. It's true. It's true, isn't it? True, true, true. True, true, true. Look how much volume it's had. It's been having over 25,000 a minute. Over 25,000 a minute. So it's looking good to me. Looking good to me. I think RKDA, who knows, that thing is just a garbage, garbage, garbage. So I'm going to start paying attention to the first five minutes of RKDA and make sure it's just probably just going to keep coming down. Who knows? Who really knows? WKHS is coming right down into its support, but it's looking way, way better than RKDA on its support because WKHS went up and is holding holding rkda has support around 350s 355 350 355 two position for me now apha and kpti aub jobs is in two positions he is really stepping your aub job you are stepping your game up amrn called it at open amrn am where is my amrn amrn YRIV going higher also watching YRIV. YRIV is a sub dollar stock, isn't it? Sub dollar stock. YRIV. YRIV. And AMRN. YRIV. Boom. YRIV is at 69 cents. 69 cents. Let me pull up AMRN. AMRN. Boom. AMRN is at $15, going $15 right now, sitting right at $15. I guess this one's not such high alert, S-I-E-N. Look at it. 
Here's a whole bunch of profit takers, but look, it keeps holding. It's holding, holding, holding. We'll see what happens here. RKDA still has so much volume. RKDA seems like there's so much action on RKDA. Look at that WKHS. Great pullback right into support. I would have took that trade actually, but... Anyways, I woulda, coulda, shoulda. My account is not funded. I want to tell you guys all about that, but I just want you guys to understand I am not mismanaging any support I ever get. I take this dead serious. I do not go, oh, I got some support. I'm going to go down to Mickey D's and buy me a hamburger uh, with money that is uh, for the stream support. I do not do that. Just I just want that to be known out there. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I take this dead serious. I'm going to become a profitable trader. I'm going to do everything I can to step it up. And any support I've been getting, I put that totally aside. I'll show, I can show it to you on Monday. I have it totally aside. It's sitting there. It's safe. It's safe in my hands is what I'm saying. It's safe in my hands until I get it into my account. Then we will see how safe it really is. We'll see how safe it really is there. <laughs> But we're going to do this, guys. We're going to do this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for just being all around here every day. Just, I love this live stream. I love being here. YRIB is up to 72 cents. AMRN is at 1511 now. RKDA is still just fighting, fighting, fighting right there. All money is real money. Jerry Drum, true. All money is real money. So, so true right there. I got to get out of here. This thing, it is coming right down. The washout. Washout for the quick pop. This is, But this is not a washout for the quick pop. Look how slow it's going. Look how slow it's going. Why? R-I-V. Oh, man. I can actually trade that one, too. I should have been on this one. Oh my gosh, this is right in the sweet spot where I can actually trade. I can actually afford enough shares and this stock moves. Not very often do I find a stock like this with my low of equity. Another thing is SureTrader, I have a, a, a email into them. They have not answered me yet, but I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that. But hopefully from a mistake I made yesterday, it was horrible, horrible, horrible. Love being here. SG Christensen, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to have everyone here all the time. Did Will get in this thing? Will, did you get in YRIV yet, or are you just waiting? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Look at all these stocks I've been noticing that are starting to pop up on the uh, moving today are the ones that have been flatlining for a while. They've been dropping off and flatlining. None of them have been in uptrends. Have you noticed that? They've all been exactly looking like this. Looking There goes RKDA. I know... RAKD, I would not give up hope in RKDA. RKDA, it could be just a bear flag and use VWAP as uh, resistance up there. Maybe you take a tight resistance short sell on there and you think it's going to come back down. But I, I kind of think RKDA could turn back around. No trade yet. No trade yet for SG Christensen. Me neither. Me, ne me neither. Boom, boom, boom. Look at RKDA. It came right up to that VWAP right over the $3 and then a good short sell into there because you would have had a tight, tight risk into that prior resistance, prior support. Whichever way you trade, you just really need this. This thing's up a little bit high for me to take a trade, but oh man, this one could be a good trade on this one. AMRN is at 15.11 now. All out, RKDA. There went High Mountain Trader, short sold RKDA. He was probably the hidden seller in there. High Mountain Trader, were you that hidden seller at 3.40 this morning? <laughs> were you that hidden seller in there? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know that High Mountain Trader. You're a very good friend of mine. I thank you for being here and thank you for calling that or saying that now. But anyways, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Nice V says, nice, nice job. I, I forgot to look at RKDA a little bit cleaner. A little bit cleaner. Look at that gap up. All these garbage companies, just like High Mountain Trader says. Stopped out from APHA, still in KPTI, ready to take WKHS. WKHS sometimes is a slow mover, but AU job, I'm, I'm starting to like those sorts of moves. R-I-I-R-I-V-I. R-I-V-I. I mean, why R-I-V? Why R-I-V? Look at that. W-K-H-S drop. Nobody was there to support it. Nobody was there to support it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. 
So we're going to watch YRIV. I'm trying to look around, see what's going on. Look at AMRN. Anthony called this one earlier, and it's still going up. If you can afford to trade that high a price to stock, the AMRN is all the way up to 15.17 now. When I looked at it, it was down by 15.03. Now it's at 15.17. Same with YRIV, when Will was calling this one out, and SG Christensen, I believe, was way down there. RKDA might have been a buy the rumor, sell the news. Yeah, the uh, what, what the news was, they had some sort of news on there. I What was that? I, I didn't write the news down, RKDA, this morning. That is so dumb. I always need to have that. I try to keep... I try to keep a rolling tab of my uh, stocks too, like when it moved, what the news was, and I didn't even write the news on RKDA. I, when it comes down to the stock market, you have to be smart about these things. That's what I'm saying. You have to be smart, smart, smart. You, the more information you can gather over time, a lot of these stocks come back, come back again. So years and years down the road, you can, you'll know exactly what it did, how much volume it took to get there, and what the news was, where it was at, where it was sitting. I know companies grow year after year, or they should grow year after year, but it takes years for some of these companies. OMI oh, on low volume. OMI, oh, where is... I took o, oh OMI oh, is at 471. OMI, oh, look at that. The open washout. The open washout. Just blame the parrot. Just blame the parrot. <laughs> Joe Michael Benitez says. Mm -hmm. Two, two, throughout my whole trading, I've had two straight mishaps. What is totally, basically, I consider it uh, my mis my fault. When it comes right down to it, it's my fault. When it's my fault. <sighs> Sixty Y R I V Y R I V O M I is all the way up to four seventy seven now. Four seventy seven fifty dollars fifty one dollars Mastro took on R K D A. It must have been a short sell, right? Was that a short sell, Mastro? It had to be. Right up into that V WAP, that hard V WAP rejection right there. Great trade. I missed this trade. Look at this. Look at this. You can't. This is my setup right here. This is. You can't beat that clean of setup right there. But I'm always worried because I want. I really want to start sizing into some of these because sometimes this is a. Uh, sometimes this turns. This is actually the drop fake and pop boom to a certain extent, but it's a version of my drop fake and pop boom. My my real true blue drop fake and pop boom. The third the third pullback consolidates for a lot longer for between eight and ten minutes or five to ten minutes at least. Sometimes twelve minutes. But when it does this, it's kind of, it's like a washout for the quick pop. But this is a different version of the washout for the quick pop because sometimes this is just a major pullback of profit takers. And this one does have a chance of getting over the 70 cents and going towards high a day. Some of these washouts for the quick pops only ha can only have room up to like the resistance, which I consider the resistance 70, 71 cents right there. But this sort of setup, oh man, I, it's hard for me to explain. I like the VWAP fade strategy, Mastro says. Short, yes, Mastro took a short sell on RKDA. You couldn't beat that. You could not beat that short sell. OMI oh, is all the way up to 479. But anyways, this is uh, this this is basically a coin flip, but it's way more than a coin flip when it comes down. And if I could take larger size uh, from sixty six to seventy cents, that is that is a high probability setup right there. High probability. If I can afford enough shares just to be able to take three four cents, then that would have been a great trade right there. Even though look, it's trying to come down. Sometimes this will go up in this little situation right here. This will go up at some times in this situation. RKDA had good earnings, bro. Uh, Benji. And and there was another piece of news on RKDA. There was some other news on RKDA, but I just cannot re remember it right now. I need to write that down. 
But RKDA had good earnings. Good earnings, says Benji. Thank you, Benji. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. So did PBYI. PBYI. Benji, good to have you in the house. Good, good uh, knowledge. Remember to always check your own stuff and look at your own stuff but a lot of people in here they have no reason to lie they're just trying to be honest they're trying to learn the day trading game just as i am they're getting their strategies down some of you have your strategies intact and are making big big money and we always love to have you here because those are some great great calls a lot of you are taking so just because RKDA just did not work out, it doesn't mean the look on the, the look on it wasn't correct. Even did you see learning to day trade understood that 350? That 350 was heavy heavy resistance that thing. That was a key 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 level. And then that pullback down there, that was a good entry on that washout, but you RKDA just did not work out. Just did not work out. RKDA has earnings August 14th after the market. August 14th after the market. So not yet. It's a another day. Maybe that was an estimate. Earnings estimate is what Benji's talking about. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Boom. I know they had some sort of news. Look at WKHS. What a beautiful. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, AU Job got that one. Got that one right into that support right there. And now it's climbing higher. I would take that trade, actually. Boom, boom, boom. AMRN is, it looks like it topped out a little bit around the 1520 area. And it looks like it's trying to do the... Uh, Basically, the drop, fake, and pop, boom. Drop, fake, and pop, boom. Kind of how I like to see it if it comes down to the 1480s. Drop, fake, boom. And then climb a little higher. Do a little, just keep testing that support or that resistance up there on the top of its head, the $15. And then, boom, bust right on through. Drop, fake, or, yeah, drop, fake, pop, and boom. Drop, fake, pop, and boom. <laughs> That's what I call it anyway. I just see it so many times in the market, I can almost tell when it's going to kind of work out. Like this one is getting a little bit better every time, but it is building that bear flag. A lot of people are going to take short, but they may get squeezed right here because look at this thing's been going up, up, and up. I'm starting to realize do not trade against the trend. I am never going to trade against the trend again on those grinders. On any type of grinder, never, never. Not even if I think it needs to come and pull back a little bit and it has enough room for profit in between there. But it has not pulled that back, has not made a clear resistance, a clear support. I will take a range support resistance trade on a grinder on both ways. But I won't take a where I think it needs to pull back down. Because some of those just will not pull back down where you think they will. They'll just keep grinding and grinding and grinding. Grinding and grinding and grinding. OMI oh, is right up. It's trying to make a push through the high of day. Through the high of day. Uh, anyways, what what was I going to say? Oh, about uh, funding my account. Why why don't I just fund my account right now, today? I've been saving money. Why don't I just got uh, some support through the live stream? Why don't I fund my account right now? Because truthfully, on September, I, I had this all planned in my, I had this all planned worked out because I'm doing small, I do small jobs sometimes like fencing and stuff like that. And I just been slacking a little bit because I've been staying on the live stream so much. I have money, sure I could go to the bank and pull out some money, but our family, we have different, we... It's just very hard to explain. But anyways, I'm funding my account on Friday. I know it's so boring just to be paper trading, but every day we're at the market, we are learning and each and every day, and I will be funding my account on Friday. On Friday, I, my account will be funded, and then we'll be going into that next week. Not today, Friday. Not today, Friday. I mean next Friday. Monkey, this market is dead. You should save as much as you can and fund in September when the market picks up seriously. Yes, High Mountain Trader, I I, I may take a lot less trades, but I, w I really want to look into 
I don't know, into your trading style. If I see any sort of trades, hopefully I can learn your trading setups a little bit better that have a little bit more high probability, and I'll take that those kind of stuff. I, I will have the money in my account. I may not take a lot of trades. I'm pro I probably won't take no scalping trades unless I'm going to size in, and the volume's right. You're right, High Mountain Trader. You're actually right. But I'm going. I'm funding my account next Friday, regardless. Regardless, there's going. The money's going to be in my account because I just want to. I I meant to have uh, all this support. Thank you, High Mountain Trader, for the support. Tobin, everybody, GDT, whatever. Thank you for the support. And I wanted to bring that money out here right now and just show you and show you. Just go here. It is. I do not mismanage money. I take money. I. This ain't no joke to me. I'm not just doing this for the money. Regardless if I got any support or not, I'm still making this journey one step at a time forward. It doesn't matter. If I didn't even do the live stream, I'd still be sitting right here. The exact same thing, exact same thing every single day. I just like the community. I like the people. I like everything around this. I agree with Mountain. As a trader, we need all the odds in our side. All the odds in our side. Yes, so true. So true. Nice V agrees with that. Ayub agrees with that. High Mountain Trader is a great trader, too. High Mountain Trader is a great, great trader. What do I have going on here? Boom. Oh, I still have this going on. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Also, okay. Do, 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 do. What am I doing here? I'm trying to look at something. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let me see this. Yes, you should only 10%. Oh, that's what. Yes, you should only 10% of your total account uh, value as well. Only use. Anthony, I totally am in agreement with that. If you can have a little bit, maybe if you had 5,000 bucks to start with in your account, then you could only maybe use that much. But when you're with a small account with somewhat high commissions, you really have to navigate through that minefield just a little bit. You have to uh, walk. You have to walk in front of everybody. You have to just walk. You have to walk tall. Basically, you have to walk tall. OSTK running decent volume. Even if you have a hundred bucks, only use 10%. True, true. You should, you should do that, but it's just so hard. You really have to navigate through how many shares is it going to make you? Does your strategy, are you just scalping the market? There's a lot of different variables into that, seriously. Small account, you use it all and hope it's enough. <laughs> just like hey, you Job said, you use it all and hope it's enough especially or else it's gambling anthony but uh, trading yeah you're right and it's gambling but it's not gambling because it's not gambling because you're doing your setups you you know how much you know your basically you know your statistics if it's not going to be profitable over the long term over the long term then why are you trading in the first place why are you trading in the first place if you if you're confident in your setups and your trades it's never gambling it's never gambling even if you used your whole account maybe it's gambling in a certain sense you're gambling going okay your strategy only works two out of three times or one out of one one out of two times maybe you're gambling in that sense not just thinking okay it, you're gambling because it maybe it won't work that time you're you're absolutely that's a good answer for that i guess Monkey, you are my hero. David Rutner, David Rutner. <laughs> David Rutner, you guys are all my heroes too. I uh, seriously, next next year when I have a party at my house, I'm really hoping you guys can all come. We're going to get there. I'm hoping I will be a huge profitable trader by then and we will just be growing each and every day. That reminds me if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you have not uh signed up for the discord please sign up for the discord look at yriv will this is your basically your setup right here will that's your setup 
Trader, there are no momentum setups for right now. Even Ross is losing money every day trying to force trades for his audience. Your odds are even worse after first hour in this market. Won't say anything else. Hi, Mountain Trader. You know I value your opinion so much. You know I value your opinion so much. When you say something, I take it to heart and I really listen and... I really listen to everybody here. I listen to Anthony, Ayub Job, anybody, Will, uh, Carl, David Rutner even. I'll listen to you. I listen to anybody that can give me good advice. Any advice I take as good advice. Any advice I take as good advice. Even if it's bad advice, I still can put a spin on it and make it good advice. But I like advice. I, I like any sort of advice. Bad advice, good advice. I, I listen to it and I put, I see, is it working for me? Is it going to work for me? True, I find myself taking some big pick plays, which is not what I'm used to. Some big picture. Yes, AU job. I, man, AU job, me and you are like right. I feel like we have the same snapshot of the stock market. Even Will, I feel like Will, Will sometimes stretches his neck a little bit out there, kind of like Tobin does also. I guess we all do. I guess we all do at times. Even High Mountain Trader will stretch his neck out there. But is, is the risk to reward there? Is the risk to reward there? Guys, I'm going windsurfing for the afternoon. It's blowing a gale here. Hope you all have a great weekend. Good. Uh, thanks, Will, for stopping by. You know we always love to have you here. It's a great, great thing. Uh, me and Ayub Job are twins. <laughs> We're twins. I'm about to fix my hair up, too. I'm going to start combing my hair and making it look real nice. Well, I just from your picture, hey, Ayub Job, your little picture there. Will, enjoy, buddy. Will, uh, we hope to see you on Monday morning early. Monday morning, we always love to have you here. I, You are a, such a huge support for this channel. You're a huge, you're just a great person to have at, at the live stream each and every day. So we will see you Monday. Have a great day. Have a great day. Well, this is basically a good setup right here. To me, this is looking good. Look at RKDA may give you another short sell entry if it can push up a little bit closer to that $3. RKDA, oh, it may be reversing, David Rentner is thinking. And look, it's right down on support. It's right down on support there. Boom, boom, boom. Right down on support, RKDA. I want to look at that one, but I can really afford to take this. It mean a uh, job. I know what you were saying. I forgot to finish my sentence, but around the big picture, I, I'm starting to like to be able to see the big picture a little bit more. If you can see the big picture, what big picture I'm talking about is the intraday big picture. Maybe that's not a real big picture, but for day traders, that intraday big picture is a big picture. It's basically is a big picture. And if you can see basically ahead of time, what does, look at YRIV, what does this stock usually do? What's this pattern usually do? What's the outcome on this? What's the outcome? Can you see ahead that far? Do you know what this is going to do? Uh, you know what I think it usually does on YRIV? There's two things it can do. It, it will make a higher low or it will make a higher high. How do you check the volume or will this sell off right here? Do a false break. There's only like three or four things this stock can do. So if your risk to reward is there, you really need to get in there because now you're starting to see ahead of time, like down here off support. What was it going to do down here? It was either going to fail and just keep selling off for the rest of the day or it was going to make a new lower high or a new high of day high. So why not take that trade right there if it's going to work? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. We're starting to see the big picture, AU job, and the big picture is always good to see. Always good to see. Oh, there's Will. Yeah, great week for me. Cheers, guys. Have a great weekend, Will. Have a great weekend. There's Zona J's in the house. Have a good one, Will. High Mountain Trader says, congrats on a great week. Congrats on a great week. Uh, Zona J, RKDA had decent news and fell off. I don't think the market is ready for bull runs yet. Yeah, that just shows you, uh, Zona J, that, that is a pretty nice uh, little picture you just painted right there that... The stock market these last couple days have been, has, has been stepping up just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. 
but just RKDA just at the market open still shows you there's some shakiness in the market and some short seller around the 340s knew that they could they everybody was pretty indecisive still and they knew that we're just going to pull this thing right down at the open we still got we the shorts are still in control we're not going to let them start this crazy uh small cap low float world just yet <laughs> boom 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 straight to the moon boom 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 look at yriv now now, would you enter right here? What do you usually see with YRIV or with any stock that usually does this? What do they usually do? Is it about to make a lower high or are you going to chance it and think it's going to build support right here? Build support and then make the next leg for the higher up there, higher high. I think, I don't know. Who knows? How, how high is it up on the day? It's up 30%. Has it moved 30% before in the past? And what's it usually do if it's moved or is the volume basically? I just look at the volume, but anyways, it's up 30% on the day. Look at RKDA. Trading Monkey, it's A, B, C, D. The pivot is 70 cents. If hold, you should be in. If you hold, you should be in. 70 cents is the pivot. There you go. A, B, C, D. A, you job just called it right there. Just called it. Good look. There you go, A, you job. There you go. I I, uh, I understand all those other things. I'm learning more each day, but I, I don't call them all what you guys call them. I've been making up my own names as I go, but I, I understand exactly what you're saying, Ayub Job. I understand exactly what you're saying. Look at AMRN did a beautiful... All these stocks basically do the same sorts of things every single day. It's like just... Uh, Every every day you you guys see the same things. You just got to find your strategy in there. You just got to pick it. You got to find what it use it's it's getting a lot easier as we go on. It's getting a lot easier as we go on as we grow as a stream even. It's getting a lot easier for me to de decipher. Before this was like a foreign language to me. Before this was like a foreign language to me and now I kind of am a, look at that. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I keep, uh, what am I doing here? I better get this down. Church, oh, okay. There's thousands of spam under 20. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there you are, Anthony. I see. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. PBYI. Trying to break high of the JBR says PB. Oh, there it is at 1169. I'm going to go look at it. I was looking for YRIV. Here's a basic support resistance trade. What does it usually do after it makes a lower high? What do stocks usually do after that? What do they do usually do after that? Do they just keep coming straight down? Or will they make one more tiny bounce from the 66 cent area up to 70 cents? Is there enough profit right there for you between that support and resistance? There is not for me. There's not for me. Maybe it bounces a little bit one more time and heads back up, but I just don't know what this thing's going to do, tell you the truth. WKHS ended up failing right there at the 350s and got under the 350s. Now it's coming up to 350s. Poker is easy. Poker is easy. Storm Trader says poker is poker is easier than the stock market. Poker is easy. It's not real easy, but we are learning each and every day. We are learning each and every day. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Boom, boom, boom. What am I doing here? I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to look at my... Okay. Boom, boom. Okay, guys, I'm off. Nothing's moving. Storm Traders, I'm... I'm getting out of here a little bit earlier today, too. It's Friday. You know Fridays. So I got to go to RKDA. I think this thing still has some serious, serious hope on it. Serious, serious hope. Another thing I thought about doing besides uh, funding my Sure Trader account is funding a WebBull account because there's zero commissions on there just with a little bit of money so we could do some testing on strategies. And I could over, I could keep my uh, sure trader, and then overlay the little, uh, the 
day trade or the level, you know, the level two trading part on uh, from Web Bull, I could put it right over my screen, right where my head is up there, right there where this level two is. I could keep level two on SureTrader also, but just take a little trading thing. Then I could take just trades, little tiny trades with Web Bull, of which you probably wouldn't make very much money, but I could take a little. Just so you guys could start seeing my entries and exits, which would be somewhat good. And that could be good. I'm trying to decide what's going on here. But anyways, boom, boom, boom. Look at RKDA has had all the volume today. All the freaking volume. All the volume. Look at 11 million shares traded. 11 million shares. Well, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. RKDA, that's probably 300,000. Oh, that's 600,000. Here we Look at, oh my. Did you see that squeeze? Did you RKDA RKDA RKDA? I could have bought a hundred shares on that one. RKDA going into a halt, going into a halt. High alert, RKDA. Did you see that? We caught that live, 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 live action, <laughs> live action. Halt, halt, halt. Look where? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. The small cap world is alive. Boom, boom, boom. I knew RKDA had the volume. I should have tested that. Even who was saying that back there? David Rutner. David Rutner, I'm out at 289. Easy 10 cents. You got out right before the push. David Rutner, did you see David Rutner? He jumped out right before it went up. Right before it went up. Rip, shorts, remis. Boom, 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 boom. Did you see that? I think uh, Rutner, David, or is that David Rutner? Yeah, David Rutner or somebody was saying it was it was bottoming out. I, I know I always pay attention to stocks that uh, if they trend down for the first five minutes, I consider a dead, dead stock. But did you see RKDA? This is the difference on a stock that's dead for the whole day. The volume usually drops off. Did you you need to put this in your little statistics right there if the volume stays good and it's trending down for the first five minutes but the volume's good and there's not a lot of other things moving in the stock market you need to keep this one on high alert and see where it bottoms out this is where learning to day trade was uh expert at also he would start picking these uh, in the winter months he could really hang out and wait he would see and he would really start seeing stocks that do exactly this look where it came up to look where it came up to where did it come up to right where learning today trade says right that 350 heavy support heavy resistance heavy 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 resistance so many market losers minus 30 cents plus watch for reversals to upside seriously so mad i didn't take the dip zona j or was that zona j saying that i can't remember somebody was saying it was bottoming out i didn't write my notes that good who knows knives that's why you cover along the way anything can happen in the market anything can happen in the market and that is one of the best sentences i actually should keep that in mind i have that in my notes actually but uh Anything can happen in the market. That is the truth of the matter. Any time a market can, anything can happen in the market. That's just so true. So, so true. Boom, boom, boom. YRIV, look at, would you take a long trade on that after it did a, a, a lower high? You would obviously look into YRIV to take a short sell if it could do one little tiny push. So that that's one thing obvious. I just want to look at this real quick. Look at this. So it pushed up. It was building support right here. It made a lower high right here. So even if you understand the support resistance right here, support's down by 66 cents, resistance up by 70 cents, basically. So why wouldn't you take a short sell? You probably wouldn't want to take a long trade down here because it made a lower high. That's just a signal telling you it's probably going to head down. So you might as well, if you're going to do a support resistance trade, you might as well take a short sell on this one. A short sell. That's a, basically, those are the key things that tell you take a short sell or should you take a long sell. Even if it's a support resistance range order, even though that range isn't enough right there. Look at those are just key little signals they just give you in the market. There's lots of those everywhere. Lots of those everywhere. Shorts are trapped. It's a good time to take a long trade on pullback. RKDA. Yeah, but uh, Remus, what do you think about that 350 area um, 
Gordon Ying to Day Trade was talking about. You seen how clean that was. You seen how clean on RKDA, how clean the uh, resistance is up there. Maybe it pushes through and then uses 350 as support. Or is it this? Everybody sees knows this area. Is this going to flash back down? Can you do a washout for a quick pop or buy the dip as it dips back down? I don't know. Where will it dip back down to? Look, remember the 330 area. 340 area is where that one guy, hidden seller, somebody was saying. Who knows if it was really a hidden seller? But anyways, I kind of trust that because it looked like it a little bit. I guess I I never wasn't watching it that close, but. Anyways, maybe if it came down to the 330s, but right in the 330 areas, I'm not sure for the dip or is it going to go straight up and then dip down into the 350s. That's probably a better trustworthy trade right there. If it goes through the 350s up to like 370 and then dips back down to the 350s, that's probably a great trade right there. Great trade right there. And maybe use down here as your risk. If you got in at 350, try to use 339. That's if it goes up right after the halt. Here we go. Open, open, open. 370s, 375. It's just going straight, straight up right now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Here we go. Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. Trade your own plan, plan your own trade. Look at this. Straight up. Right after the 350s. Right after the 350s. Didn't even. It just went straight through. Straight through. Maybe you could buy the dip because it's up over the 350s now. Maybe it's not even coming back down this far. Maybe it's not even coming back down now. So remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. 370, 373. Here's a little pullback right there. Oh man, you would have had to been quick right there. Did you see that? 373, they jumped up real quick right there. They jumped up real quick. Look, boom, that 370s, those are $4, $4, $4. Boom, boom, boom. I have a daily support resistance line at 395. 395, so it's pulling back to the $4. $4, $4, $4. I'm going to try it out. $4. Four dollars is probably not a good entry. Four dollars, four dollars, boom, 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 boom. Go, go, go for high a day. I'm waiting for high a day, 406, but it looks weak. 383, 383. Man, this is so stretched out. Never buy way up there. 383, 385, 386. It's trying to, it's trying to hold, but it, it's looking heavy to me. Looking heavy to me. Boom, boom, boom. Four dollars held it down. That was a four dollars resistance. That is horrible. That's FOMO. That's straight FOMO. 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 Did anyone buy the dip? Hold RKD. Hey, looking for a short high mountain trader. Oh, oh no, that's nice. V saying that. Doing business with uh, Chinese shorted at three eighty three. Three eighty three. You seen that three eighty three break down? I seen that three eighty three break down too. But look at that long wick right down to the 360s, 350s. There's still a lot of buyers in this uh, doing this with Chinese. I'd be very wary of this. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. I should have stretched my risk out $4. $4 It went down all the way down to 364. Look at, I think they're trying to hold it down. They're trying to hold it down right at the $4. If it goes through that $4, there could be a good scalp play over this high right here. From 406 to like 418, maybe 10 cents. I don't know, but it's looking a little weak to me, actually. If you were going to short sell, look at doing this Chinese short sold right there at 393. We'll see if this four high of day is 406. So you have a clean risk, clean risk. If it gets over 406, maybe a clean scalp, a clean scalp. You will have to be quick. You're going to have to be quick. Look at this. Not going. Not going. Is anyone? Be careful. Trump just announced no deal with China and no business with Ha E or whatever the company name is, Anthony says, or whatever the company uh, is. Look at this. This is the winter. This is what happens in the winter. Exactly things like this. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. 845. Oh my gosh. There was so many shares traded right there. Or so much volume right there. So much freaking volume right there. What is going on? So you can see it has support right here at the 379 area. And it has resistance up towards the 406, $4 area. So support resistance. I don't trust this right here, but look at in the pre-market, it's it's not really up that high. It's up 100% on the day, though. It is up 100% on the day. 
I'm not sure where I would take a trade. I, If I was going to take any trade, it would probably be the scalp over 406 to like 418 or something like that. 406 to 418. But I don't trade that type of style. But I, I, I will test it if it does that. The support resistance, look at this. Boom, it's going up higher. It looks like it, if it washed out to 350, I would possibly buy down there. Over to... But down by 350, I'd probably buy and over this 406 for a quick, quick scalp is where I'd trade. I sometimes I like to buy the support resistance, but that is very, I don't know. I it's just the summer still. It's hard to trust that. Hard to trust that. But hopefully you guys do. I hope Will comes back. My emotion is mad. RKDA. <laughs> My emotion is mad. Zona J says. What are you going to do? I'll wait for a gap to fill for a short at this point. Going to protect my profits and wait for the outside line I see. High Mountain Trader. Man, I when I fund my account, High Mountain Trader, and if there are shares to short on the stock you're looking at, um, I seriously, I've been doing my homework and trying to test your strategy, High Mountain Trader, as I see it. As I see it, I don't see everything you see clearly, clearly yet, but... I'm seriously probably going to nice V. I'm probably going to try to hit one at uh, High Mountain Traders trades. He's such a great trader, but uh, he's such a great trader, such a great great trader. Here we go. Look at this. Boom. I think this is going. I'm going to put a order in, or no, I'm not, because it could come down to the 320s. Either the 350s, you could take a shot, or the 320s, or over this 406, over the 406 to 418. Four, here we go. Here we go. Four. Oh, nope. It just keeps getting right up there. This is what was doing in the pre-market. Remember that? Around that 340 area. Now it's doing it up by the $4 area. Now it's doing it right up by the $4 area. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Do this. Okay. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Here we go. What are we going to do? What will we do here? What will you do? Look, it's right up by that resistance, which I found on the daily. I I use areas. You may not have the same daily support resistance lines. I do exactly, but I have mine at 395. And look right where it's hanging out at, the $4, 395. But sometimes I'm a little bit uh, low on those. Sometimes I probably should have stretched it a hit bit higher. To the four dollar. Here we go. I'm going. To, I'm going to just do a test trade. If it busts the four oh six, I'm going to have an order in four oh six and sell into that quick pop. Here you go. Oh, oh man, I was too late. I missed it. I would. I was going to try to buy up four oh six to four eighteen, but I totally freaking missed that. Did you see how fast that was? Holy smokes. Hopefully, maybe some of you took that trade right there. See that support resistance? I didn't trust it, but look how much volume this had. You could have, you had plenty of time to get in there at 380, 377. Oh man, look at that. Is it going to come down to the $4 where you could buy now, pick it up again? Try to pick it up down by the $4. 418, 422, 420, 423, 423. I, I'm just doing testing right now, 423 on that little pullback. Pull back, pull back. Look at this thing. Boom, boom, boom. This thing's going to the moon. Parabolic. Here we go. Up towards the 450s. Go, 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 go. Oh, being sold, sold, sold at 418. 418. You guys see that. You guys can see that. You guys can see that. Now is the time to buy. Short squeeze in effect. Short squeeze in effect. Doing, I hope you're out doing this with Chinese. He, must, he got out. He's adding. He's freaking adding to this thing. All the way up to the 450s, I bet. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Look at this nice little pullback it's doing. Nice pullback. 414. 414. Boom, boom, boom. Nice little pullback. Looking a little slower. You see the tape, how it's moving, but it's still so much action right here. 414. 414. 423, actually. 423. What is going to happen? Look at that. That was a good entry, but it looked... It really wasn't up that high either. Man, you're really going to have to look back on this one later. Did you see this freaking move, man? We caught some great live action in the live stream. 
you definitely should go back and watch this live stream and really pay attention to the tape, really pay attention to level two, and see if you can catch any key things that give you buy signals. That will give you a buy signal. You know the patterns basically already. You know this little flag right there, or whatever people call it, the little support resistance right there. And look at that. Boom, 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 boom. If you can figure something out from watching that tape go through doo -doo 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 -doo, and the level two, sometimes you can see on level two, you'll see as it's washing out, you'll see a whole bunch of orders go slap right to the bedside of level two. You'll see them just go snap right up there. And as soon as you see that, you'll see doo -doo 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 -doo, right up, right up. I love to see that. I love to see that. $4 have to be support. $4 has to be support. It's a little under that now. To look at doing business Chinese kept adding and adding and now look now look uh, hey what was your average that uh, doing was Chinese covered 392 average was 405 oh man you could have took you had a lot but you could have could have should have would have that was a great trade doing was Chinese you just did it never settle there's volatilities in the house. Might have took a trade on. Oh, you don't trade these low float stocks, actually, that much. But you can. You do. You do, actually. Boom, boom, boom. RKDA. RKDA. This is exciting me. Can you believe this? The last three days in the small cap, low float world, stocks have been slowly creeping forward all the way up. All the way up, average down is risky. If the setup is there, if the setup is there, volatility, if the setup is there, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. Never average down, never average up. I Never average down, never average up. But uh, if you look at every single stock besides a grinder, do you, uh, you always will see a pullback. Do you, can you put in... Is there enough ads to get you to where you need to be? Sometimes that there is an opportunity for a big loser, but before the big loser, is there enough? Are you going to be green over time is the question. Are you going to be green over time? Average up is okay. Yeah, average. Oh, averaging up. I, I know what you mean. Averaging up is okay. Like adding to your position as you're, you're still in profit, but averaging up basically. RKD, hey, Terry, Terry just got 58 bucks. Did you short, there are no shares to short, are there? Symbol is not shortable. Symbol is not shortable. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. I, I don't, the only trade I would have took on this was over that 406. And I don't really trust that trade that much. But on this high of volume over that 406 high break, you could have really got in there. I was a little too slow for it. But you you kind of sometimes will have to just have your order in there. But then sometimes if you, if you do do that, put your order in for that high of day break, sometimes you have a chance of it. The market maker is going, Doom, just touching your order and then dropping it like a rock. But this one had so much momentum, it's really hard to control that. It has so much, so much stuff going on on this. This is so exciting. This is the bet. This is what we, we we came for. We came for this. We come for this. We come for this. Boom, 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 boom. I'll average up several times. Rule number one, though, is never add more than my original amount. Never add more than my original amount. Boom, boom, boom. There are so many great, great strategies in there. My Basically, I will trade wherever the money, I can get money out of the market. I'm not going to limit myself. The only way I limit myself is staying in the small cap, low float world. And the reason I do that is because I don't think that's limiting myself. I think that's just knowing how much uh, information I can actually accept into my brain. Basically, basically, averaging up, down is different from, oh, from, oh yeah, right. Averaging up or down is different. Like when you're down in a trade, that's when you're averaging. But if you're just building a position, then you're just keeping in profits, but building your position as it goes higher. I understand, Remus. I get what you're saying. I was saying it all wrong. Thank you for cleaning that up. Thank you for cleaning that up. 
Yeah, averaging down, uh, averaging up and down is when you're adding to a losing position, basically, on either way you're going. And building a position is you're just add, you're adding into a profitable trade as it goes up. At least that's how I look at it, how I think of it. Kind of like what Kevin Avery does. Building positions, kind of like... There's so many traders that do that sort of stuff. It's the same thing. They uh, like a lot of people in the same groups or whatever will trade the same or what they. But it's always good to do that. I I like to learn myself throughout the market, you know. But I just am just doing it one little step at a time. I love to learn from all you guys. I I don't accept no non-information. No non-information. I just want to learn the stock market. Exactly. If you are wrong about the trade, it's better to let it go instead of averaging up or down. Yes, it's better if you are, if you're wrong, it's better. Except I, I'm not real sure. Of like, uh, like, like to a short position, it's kind of like Kevin Avery does. Like adding to a short position. If you're confident, if you have somebody telling you also that that's a good idea, then sometimes it's seriously a good idea. Some, sometimes it's seriously a good idea, especially on shorts when they will come right back down. Or I'm not real sure. Actually, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I do the same. I build a position. Uh oh. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, his first no. It's 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 not my first cell phone. This is this was my old cell phone. I still use it now. I have my new cell phone when I got not too long ago, but I still use this cell phone for an alarm clock, for an alarm clock, for an alarm clock. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, I I totally got uh, fumbled up there a little bit. Was kind of monkey wearing shorts to yes, I'm wearing shorts today. I'm wearing shorts today. I got nice shorts on. <laughs> I always have a max loss and max share size I want before entering. If you add after that, you're adding to loser and will die. And will die. If you're adding after your max. There's so many great ways to trade. There's no... How can you hate any trading style? If they're being, if you're profitable, how can you really hate any trading style? It's best to learn from anybody and everybody you can. Seriously, it really is. RKDA, all that money just passed me by. Me too, me too. The only trade I've seen on this, I really wish I would have understood my thinking earlier and going I know this has a lot of volume just like the winter months and looked back here where it was bottoming out but my only other trade I didn't trust this trade off of support but this trade right over that 406 high that possibly would have been a trade if I could have been quick enough if I could have been quick enough it's like when my best friend stole my girl snap snap <laughs> snap snap says it's like my best uh, friend stole my girl also, clay trader building position, but loses, losses are high if they occur. That That's the only problem with that. Your losses can be just overwhelming. Maybe you have, uh, you can win 50 times in a row, but if one of those trades in the 50 times outweighs all your 50 wins, then that is not a profitable strategy. It just isn't. It just isn't. But if it is, if if you can win 50 times in a row and then you have one loser and you're still and you're still making profit, then that's a profitable strategy. Obviously, obviously. Also, very important to note when adding a position, never add more than your original amount. This will increase your risk exponentially, exponentially. Hence my rule. That is right. Mastro goes, that is right. That is right. That's what I always say. That is right. That is right.
Bum, bum, bum. Spy still tanking. Still long. UVXY. The spy is still tanking after that. Uh, what happened there? Bum, bum, bum. What am I doing over here? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, good job. Terry, great job, man. Terry, good job in your trade. I forgot to tell you that. I really forgot to. Terry did a great trade. Uh, Terry, that was one of your best trades. I know that was a little bit sketchy on the, your trading, but you did a great, great trade. Terry, gee, many Christmas. DVAX, DVAX. I really like RKDA because look how long this thing's been. It's just going and going. RKDA. Look at the 200 is up by the 450s. 200. If this thing can get up to the 450s, that looks like a beautiful short sell. Obvious short sell into that prior resistance, prior support. It has that little gap to fill up there. Maybe even closer to five dollars. It looks like a better. This thing could get. This thing could get up to five dollars today. It seriously could get up to five dollars today. Terry, thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> Sorry, snap, snap, snap. Sorry, snap, snap, snap. Thank you guys for all hanging out here with me today. It is such a great place to be. And believe it or not, once here we go. Look at this. Climbing, climbing, climbing. See that washout right there? It just wasn't in my area. If it would have been down here by the 339s, I would have took this all day long. Look at that. Boom, boom for the quick pop. Uh-oh. Let me turn that thing off. I have an alarm set right here. Boom, boom, boom. 10.30. 10.30. Boom, boom, boom. Man, it was so good to have learning to day trade on here. Did you see how I shared my screen and everything? The screen was shared and uh, learning to day trade, I didn't have to try to follow along on his screen or on my screen. He could actually talk and he could actually show what was going on. Look at this thing. This is another, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Beautiful. You see this pattern on the one minute chart all the time, but does it, does it match up on the five minute chart? Does it match up on the five minute chart? Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. This thing could get up to four fifty five dollars today. Are you guys going to make some money on this? Should we let this go by or should we make some money? Look at another high a day. Four twenty eight. Four twenty eight. Power, power, power. <laughs> Look at that. It looked like did you, you remember why RIV? See, you didn't wait for it to confirm the lower high if you were doing a lower high, but why RIV didn't have all this back added pressure to it. Remember when it made a lower high? So you would think that was a lower high. The reason it wasn't a lower high was because of this, all this consolidation back here. So you've seen that, right? You got to really start adding different things in. Maybe a stock looks almost the same and it looks like it should do your what you're thinking it should do and maybe short sell right here in, in front of that $4. But no, this is different. This is different. Doing business with my Did you cover? He covered. Yeah, he covered his position. He got freaked out after. Well, he took profit actually. Got profit. Got profit right there. That was a great trade. Look at this, coming right up to the 450s. Ain't that where we said? Four, yeah, 450s, look at that. That's a resistance right there, right by the 200. What a beaut That's another beautiful one. This is a little bit braver if you wanted to try a short sell, but you could have short sold that right there. After seeing this lower, you see the volume right there? Boom, 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 how it's not getting up past this volume right there the 1.6 million it's on it's getting it's lower it's lower you see that can you guys see that can you see that or am i just crazy am i crazy and not seeing all that close call close call with the chinese yes slight profit slice profit made five cents a share on rkda long or was that 50, 5 cents or 50 cents? Whatever it is, that's a good profit. I think anything over 4 or 5 cents, you can become a profitable trader. If your style is only catching 4 to 5 cents, you can find you can find that money all over the place. If you can cover commissions, that that is a great way. Do you just want to make a strategy completely around 
making five cents, making four cents. My A lot of my strategies work around if I can see 10 cents on some of these small cap low float stocks, I will take the trade. Even if it's I can see over 10 cents to 20 cents, as long as I can see about, well, it's eight cents actually. As long as I can see about eight cents, I will take the trade. I will take the trade. Strong redirects. Oh, 50 cents. Remus made 50 cents, 50 cents. There it goes, there it goes. There it goes. Another thing what I may be doing soon is uh, moving my trading station again. Moving my trading station not not to an office right yet, but I will have I will be building some sort of trading thing. But guess what? I have a tree fort. I have a tree fort, but it's a two story tree fort. So I may start, and it has electricity, has everything out there, has internet out there. So I'm thinking about moving my trading station out to the tree fort. So my family gets tired of hearing me talking all day when they when they're coming by the room. They, it's just I talk loud sometimes. I try to talk quiet, but I keep getting louder and louder and louder. <laughs> But anyways, that may be the next spot I may be moving this to for now. I thought about moving out to the pole barn, but the pole barn, that's just going to be way too cold. Way too cold out there. It doesn't have no heat out there. It only has like a wood fireplace is all. So that's probably what you're going to see in the future. In the future, you will see a different, not, not the craft room, nothing like that. But anyways, that's just, I don't know. I'm just saying that. It's, it's probably dumb to say. There it goes, Jerry Drum. Strong rejection. Is it? Look how it's creeping up, creeping up. I, I think it. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Where would you take this trade? That's like a little cup and handle. The trader man cave. Yeah, I need a trader man cave. I'm seriously uh, want to get the plans for uh, building a trading room and putting like 30 computers, maybe even more around there. And then just uh, it's going to be a great but Sooner or later, we are going to grow so big. You just don't even know. We have big I have big dreams for all of your guys' future, all of your guys' future. You guys are going some of you are super great profitable traders already and the ones that are still learning just like me we are coming up we are just becoming a great team of people the monkey army is alive the monkey army is well we are not going anywhere don't try to shake us out we ain't moving we ain't going we're we're here <laughs> we're here <laughs> I plan to buy an LED stock ticker and hang it up in my room. An LED stock ticker and hang it up in my room. Well, doing business Chinese. I need a man. That's what I need is a man cave. I need a man cave. I just don't have it. Look at this. Pay attention to RKDA. What am I doing talking? What am I doing talking? Look at so look what this has been doing. RKDA will make a big push up and then a pullback. So what do you suppose it's going to do? Make a big push, push up into the 450s and do a pullback. Is there enough uh, profit right there on the short side? Where would you get in long? You would probably be trying to get in long. Maybe over this push a high a day right there. That push a high a day for 428 to 450, there was profit right there. When this thing makes pushes, look how far it can move. Three, uh, 30 cents every time it pushes. Every time this thing pushes, it can make great, great volume. Great, great volume. Wow, I missed it. Momo Dreambox, there you are. Good to have you in the house. Momo Dreambox, good to have you in the house. So any way you're going to trade this, there is plenty of money. Plenty of money here. Plenty of money. What caused the huge pop in RKDA? Was it market makers? Was it market makers? You will actually have to figure that out for yourself. I don't know. That That is a lot of freak. That's just a straight short squeeze, it looked like to me. Sh uh, short squeeze. See, it squeezed right there. Right there. There were a lot of short sellers came in on this bear flag right here and wanted to just ride it. They probably were thinking they were going to ride it all day. And they probably had a stop around this $3, $3.08, somewhere up there. And that caused a squeeze. And then the retail traders, momentum traders, boom, 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 right into the halt, right into the halt. 
Someone with money and algo. Oh, it's the algos, huh? It's the algos, not market makers. The market makers ne will never move a market like this. The market makers don't do that. They only, they get their money in between the bid and the ass. They're just little like mice running around. They're like little mice. They just want one, two, three, four cents in there. That's where they get their money, buying and selling your orders. They're so quick. They're so fast. They have programs for that. Programs for that. They're like just the little mice running around. I don't think there are algos that trade penny stocks. Algos, there's, who knows, who knows, I don't know. They had really big news, actually. Oh, they had, Jerry Drum said they had really big news. And what was that? Jerry Drum, tell us the news. What is the news? What is the news on this? I, I, oh, I cannot believe I did not fix. Do you see the gap? Yes, I seen the gap all the way up. Look, I have a, a daily support resistance line at 450. And look right where it came up to the 454 and tapped it, tapped it right on my right on the nose. I'm really good at making my daily support resistance lines. My de next daily support resistance line is 450 or no, that's the last one I have. So I'm going to add one more daily support. I didn't really think it would get up over the 450s. I thought the volume for the day, that's as high as it would get. So 454 is basically, I think, is the top of this thing. But who knows? It could go higher. It does have a little bit more momentum today. But 454 was what I had planned out for today as being the very, very tippy, tippy top. The very tippy, tippy top. We'll see. But it actually went to 455 so far. So I'm a little bit off. I'm a little, I'm one cent off. I'm one cent off. 509. But this thing does have room all the way up to the 509s. And even it could get into this next range. If it can get over the 454, over the 200 uh, moving average, it could fall into the next range up there. And this thing, like Jerry Drum says, has good news. Maybe it will start resting in between this range up here, in between the 450s and the 550s. If it can get up into that little range, it will probably hang out. I don't see it happening, but maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Lesson learned. Always leave a gapper on your screen. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but a job, if you missed it, I know you missed a lot of great trades on it probably. But anyways, in the live stream replay later, you will be able to watch this clean. It'll be watch this clean. Even if you need to mute me so you can just watch it. That's basically what I do. And I just watch it. I watch it and I look for clues, look for signs, see where the support resistance was, things like that. Things like that. Such a great spot. Great, such a great spot. I think low floats are back for the last, snap, snap, the last three days. The last three, the last two days, the two days prior to this, you could feel the energy coming back. Couldn't you feel the energy coming back? Just slowly. They were just creeping, creeping, creeping. RKDA is the first day a stock just really went. At least a low float stock to me that has continued on past 935 945 or whatever past the 1045 area actually so yes low floats are stepping back i i wouldn't call it they are back but they are on their way they are on their way seriously they are getting so close so so close boom 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 look at that 454 454 i don't see it getting any higher than this but look at this I think it's actually, if I had to guess, I think it's probably going to come back down here, down to the 360s, 350 area, right in here, maybe even 377. 377, come rest a little bit. Maybe come rest a little bit down by the 377s, and then maybe continue up and get closer to that 450s. But look, why trade against the trend right now? Why trade against the trend? Look at that trend. If you drew a trend line, it's going straight up. I won't trade against the trend, especially on a stock that has so much power like this. Boom. Unless you just want to short sell for quick little uh, pops and drops like that, that's about all you can do. That's about all you can do on that. Boom. But I don't see it getting over. I don't think it gets over 455. That's just my uh, prediction. Maybe later on in, today, in the day. But who knows? It could. It could. Remember to always trade your own plan. Plan your own trade. May even go up higher. Oh, do you, 
Did Sure Trader give you back the refund from yesterday? Do, did you see on BT? I never, I have an email into them doing this Chinese. They have not answered me as of yet. But now that I look back on my conversation with the lady yesterday, the chat, we're going to, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It really, when I, when you come right down to it, I, I don't want, I don't know. That is one of the fir the worst two things I have done in, since I've started trading. One of the f worst, actually that's the worst, worst thing that has ever happened to me when I was trading. When I was trading, I have never, nothing like that's ever happened to me. That was very horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, here we go. Look at this thing. Power, 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 power. Look at reject again. Boom, 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 435 through 430. Here it goes. Look at, oh, look at that. Somebody tried to stand up. A pretender, a pretender tried to stand up. Or maybe it's a real person. Maybe it's a real person. He tried to stand up right there and said, this thing ain't going nowhere. This thing ain't going nowhere. Did you see that guy on the bid side try to stand up right there? Look, still being sold, still being sold. Somebody's getting some shares right there. Let's see if it drops. There he is at 425 right now, 32,200. Boom, look, tricky, tricky, tricky. You see how tricky that guy is? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, you can't trust. That level two will get you. That level two will get you. That level two will get you every single time. Don't let it trick you. Don't let it trick you. Don't let it fool you. You cannot do it. If you do not see it going through the tape, you don't see those orders going through the tape, you can't you can't trust it. You just can't trust it. Boom, boom, boom. But when you see a whole bunch of basically little orders just slap up into the bid, sometimes you like to see that. That's what I like to see anyway. I'm just saying that's what I like to see, but I think this thing's coming down, like I said, down to the three, what did I say right there? 377 area probably. It could turn around from there, but I don't see it getting into that next little range up there. Maybe it does. This would be a good place to, it would have been a good place to short sell if you would have just wanted to because you have such a tight risk. I would have used 455 as my risk, 456. But anyways, boom, boom, boom. We're going to see what happens. Why RIV came right down, basically back into support, the 50 why 58 cent area 58 cent area and is uh, catching its feet down there this is a good setup this is a basic good setup if you could get in by the on yriv down by the 59 cent down by the 60 cent even if you could get in at 60 cents you you see this happen all the time it it could just continue lower and hit that trend that downward trend line and not get over the 63 64 cent area but that would be a good spot to take a stab at the 60 cent for a long trade, for a long trade. Hey, accident. Oh, what happened? Anthony said, what happened? Oh, I was talking in Discord. I didn't realize I had clicked I on my trading thing over here. I had BTG. I was looking at it. It's a really high price stock. And I hit shift two and shift two is buy on the ask. So I ended up buying shares on the ask, but bought me 300 shares. I couldn't even afford 300 shares. I don't have margin, but it let my order go through. It let my order go through, Anthony, and it just went, it went through. And it, it and I contacted him. I said, what happened? I don't have margin right now. Why did my order go through this, that? I tried to tell them, and they said, well, basically... Sometimes orders will go through like that. We can't keep tabs on every single person. I thought they would just have an automatic. If you get below 500, you, uh, you're below margin. It's just an automatic cutoff. Why don't they fix it like that? But they said they can't keep tabs basically on everybody. And uh, some orders will go through. But if they catch you doing that on purpose, they can liquidate your account. But mine was basically an accident. And I contacted them about it. So... <laughs> But it just, um, they said to send a message to the trading desk. To the trading desk, I, it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just hard. with If they are good, yeah, keep on them. I Anthony, I definitely am on them. If they are a good company with good customer service, they will help me out. So true. So true, Anthony. The, the thing is, right when it happened, 
I, I went straight to their chat. I went straight to their chat. Even before I uh, got out of the trade, I went straight to their chat, started talking to them, and they said, well, can you close your position? Can you close your... I said, yeah, I can close my position. Or I said, I'm not sure. So I closed my position. I said, yeah, I can close my position. That wasn't the problem. I don't have margin. I accept the responsibility of how many shares maybe I could purchase, which was about 80 shares. But I, there was no reason why I should have been able to use margin. It should have not even let my order go through in the first place. It should have never, ever let my order go through in the first place. Worst case scenario, I could afford to buy 80 shares. I'll accept that responsibility. But anything else, why? I didn't. I don't know. But we will. We're going to have. I, I'm finding out. I'm finding out. If they can change buying power, they can stop margin. That's what I thought, Doji dude. But we'll see. We'll see. I have nothing. I seriously have nothing bad to say about Surgeon too much. They have good customer service. I started talking to them right away. They're uh, and they allow you to trade, do the PDT rule thing. Maybe the commissions are a bit high, but basically, I don't really have nothing bad to say about them. Right. Make sure you tell them just like this. I, Anthony, I did. I basically did already in an email. I had to email them at the sure trader thing. At the sure trader thing. You have to email them with one to two business days. One to two business days. So we'll see. We'll see. They've actually, in the past, something happened i can't remember exactly what happened something in the past and i was very happy with the way they uh came about it and fixed my problem fixed my problem it was something to do with commissions i think i can't remember what it was though i see an uptrend on rkda rkda you see it yeah there is an uptrend so you see this boom if you drew the trend line it finally busted below but sometimes i don't trust the trend line unless it has bounced it at least twice off of it then then i'll say that's a valid line that's a valid line if it if it can't bounce twice off a trend line i'll i don't use it i just won't use it and now it's bounced twice once twice and then it, it's failed the twice, but sometimes you can't trust this because it will curl around. It's still bullish on the day, basically. If RKDA holds four, it is still strong. Just like Momo Dreambox says, if it holds four, it's still strong. It's still straight bullish. You still would have plenty of time to take a short sell somewhere a little bit lower after it looks a little bit weaker, after some eyes got off of this until it started bottoming out, maybe. So... So sometimes you just got to be patient, 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 patient. But if you want to be front running this thing, you could definitely tell there was resistance at 454. And with the volume on the day, how much does it move per day and things like that, you can kind of average out how high you think it would go on the day. I love to try to th think how high a stock can go on a day. But every once in a while, especially in the winter time, you can't really judge it that much because the momentum, there's so many retail traders, there's so much more action that sometimes the volume is just way, way out of hand and the float gets turned over and over and over and over again, recycled, recycled constantly. So you just don't know. You just it's, Sometimes it's hard to tell, but on a stock like RKDA, you, it's kind of a little bit easier to tell, a little bit easier to tell. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to see what happens right here. We'll see what happens. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. RKDA, RKDA. So today, I am only staying till noon. That's about one more hour and I am done. Maybe even 11.30 actually. Maybe even 11.30 because it is Friday, you know. And I need to get some stuff done because I need to start getting my account funded. And to do that, I have to get some work done. <laughs> I basically have to get work done or just these wheels will just stop moving. The wheels will stop moving here. So that's just basically what I am doing. I wish I could leave this live stream open all day long so you guys could stay in here chatting. But the next best thing is on the Discord. There is even... Look at this thing. 
Bum, 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 bum. Look at this. Oh, getting rejected again right there. Tried to go up. Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? Funky situation. Now, that is a market maker move. Just doing that. Look, adding, uh, getting their little... Uh, getting their little profit in there they they start gathering some shares and they'll try to trick you right there and then they'll get their money right there like little market maker moves i consider that a market maker move just that little top move not all this now these are just sellers jumping on top of the other sellers sellers jumping on top of the other sellers right there but anyways, so I think 11.30 today, I am going to have to be done so I can get some things done. I really like RKDA. This could be a stock that goes all day. Who knows? But I think it's getting right down to where it should bounce at. The 379s. If it doesn't bounce at 379, who knows? It could get a little lower. It could... It could just go in between this range all day long now, between there, boom. But if it gets closer to high a day in the afternoon, boom, it does have room up to $5. All market makers are in RKDA. <laughs> they're all over it. Mastro, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. <laughs> it's If RKDA holds four, it's still strong. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a definite, if you wanted to do a bounce play, I, I would let it get a little bit further down here because you can see they're not going, they're going to want it down a little bit further, maybe even way down here. I, 379 might be a little bit high, but look at this uh, breakout right here. This is all momentum. After this halt, this is basically just all straight momentum. So where does this stock really deserve to be at? What's the price supposed to be at? If this was just all momentum and stretched out momentum, where is this stock supposed to rest at? Where's the price? How do you figure that out? What's your equation? <laughs> What's your equation to figure that out? Where is it? Where is it? Tell me. Tell me your equation where that thing's going to rest at. Please. Please let me know. Where does RKDA need to be? You can leave till we tell you can, Terry says. <laughs> Terry, you can't leave till we tell you can. Terry, I know, I know. I love to be here as long as possible. But you understand, when your account's not funded, it's I, I'm still learning each and every day. And I think this is very valuable learning experience. But plus, I need to be able to make some money to get my money going. Market makers are all out looking for market donors. Freedom Song <laughs> says... Market makers are all out looking for market donors. Yeah, the market makers are just those little mice that run in between there. Run in between there and get your little one cent, two cent. If you're buying on the ask and selling on the bid, they're getting a lot of money from you each and every day. Each and every day. You need more subscribers, Momo Dreambox. We are growing each and every day. You only can grow so fast. Uh, sure, I would love to really get over the 1,000 subscribers so we would start earning ad revenue so we could set that right down on top of everything else, on top of all the support. And eventually, I'm going to be a profitable trader. Regardless of how this all turns out, I will be sitting right here. If I, Even if this camera isn't here, I'm going to be sitting right here learning until I'm a profitable trader. Everything else is just, I'm here for you guys. Here for my friends, basically. You guys are all my friends. We're learning this together. If I didn't have all this, I'd still be doing the exact same thing. So here we are and we are growing as a team. And just know I have your back. Just know that. How? What does that mean exactly? Well, just hold on, hold on. We'll see how th everything works out, how big a profitable traders we all turn into and really see how the monkey army grows as a team. And we're, seriously, we could all be, who knows, we're, we're just hustling to the top. We're just going to the top. Terry, Terry's been a great supporter. Everybody in here is a great supporter. We're doing this. We're doing this, doing this, doing this. If you have found the stock market and you have started trading, you ha you're you like like-minded like me. They're, you're basically an entrepreneur. I know I say this a lot, but a lot of people that find the stock market are kind of, they have the same thing. They want to make a better life for themselves, better uh, life for themselves. And just they, they like to do it their way, your own way, not having a boss over your head telling you what to do. You just want to make your money and you want to do it your way and live your life your way. 
and that's what I respect about every single trader. About every single trader here, I really think you guys have that same thing in the back of your head. Truthfully, that's honest, honest. Truthfully, that's it. Sometimes I say some wild, outlandish things, but all in all, I'm just trying to, I just, seriously, I'm just here for the stock market. I'm here for the stock market. There's Terry, he says, like, like, like. If you have not hit the like button, could you please hit the like button? YouTube loves it, and you know I love it too. And you know I love it too. But Momo Dreambox, we are growing in subscriber count. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. You might as well join the Monkey Army now. We have a Discord. Now we have uh, the live stream. We have the Discord. We are growing. If you're not a part of the Monkey Army, you m oh, somebody just did something. Somebody just, oh, GDT, GDT. <laughs> GDT just donated me 10 bucks. GDT, stop that. I'm putting, a, you know I have a rolling tab for you right there. GDT, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That means so much. That means so much. GDT, uh, now I have to say this whole little spill. I have to say this whole little thing. When I very first started uh, day trading and finding the YouTube day trading uh YouTube day trading world one of the first people I found besides uh, Actually, I found a couple people but one of the first people I found was garage day trader I started watching him Learning from him. Maybe I don't trade his style But he is a profitable trader and I learned so much from him and he is a great support of my channel I consider him a great great friend. We may not know each other that well But we've t actually talked before in the past and I really if you have not subscribed to GDT's channel, you might as well get on over there and subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. But gamers get donations out of the wall and not traders. GDT, why is that? Why is that? I can't wait till your next live stream, GDT. Your next live... Oh, I guess you do a live stream. GDT also does a live stream, I believe, in the mornings telling you his watch list, which is also a great uh, place to go. Anywhere you can go to learn things, you, you might as well go there. You might as well be there. You might as well do it. 141, uh, Remus, nothing special. Garage Day Trader, if you have not found his channel, go watch his channel, see his trades, see his trades. The other day, I actually watched GDT the other day, on he, it, it was a crazy trade. One of the most crazy trades I ever seen GDT uh, make, it was... Uh, he was in the hole. He must have been in the hole 2,000 bucks, but he was with such strong conviction, like we were talking about earlier, adding to your position. It was such strong conviction. He just kept adding, adding, adding. He went to his last, very last ad, and finally, boom, 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 boom straight down. It was so, it was such a, out from the dust to the ashes, or from the ashes to dust, or whatever you call it. But Garage Day Chair doesn't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like that trade. He's not very proud of that trade, but to me, that was a thing of just just resilience. Resilience up inside yourself, controlling your emotions, controlling your emotions all the way through, just holding on, just holding on, not really hoping, or I guess maybe hoping, okay, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it that much. <laughs> Sorry, GDT, GDT. Uh, Anthony says, awesome, man. Thanks, GDT. Consistency is the point. Yeah, consistency, consistency, consistency. So that RKDA, look at the RKDA. Uh, hopefully, may, GDT may have traded. Did you, you didn't, did you trade uh, RKDA? GDT sometimes will shrink down back into the low full small cap world if he, see, he says no chance. <laughs> He said, no, 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 no chance. GDT likes to put himself, when he very first started, I've heard this story from GDT, when he first started trading, he started out in the small cap low float world. He was watching all the videos, doing the whole thing, and eventually he decided this just wasn't for him. He gave it a shot. He said, and that's all good. Some, some things just ain't made for certain people, but he found his groove in the stock market and really just took a whole, took it, took the stock market, just took the stock market and really started making a thing for himself, making a name for himself. I think everybody knows GDT already. 
So shout it out loud. Shout it out loud. I really will. I really will. Thank you, GDT, for the support. It means so much. It means so much. Oh, S oh, GDT took a SYMC long today. So he likes to pay, play those washouts. He has a scanner he uses, which tells him his trades, which is another good thing. And boom, boom, boom. He'll use a scanner. It will tell him how intense it's going against him. And then he'll... He gets, gets in there. So now GDT has been taking long trades also. Taking long trades also. Terry, he reminds me of Clay Trader, how he trades. Hey, Garage Day Trader, Terry says. AMD is my long-term baby. AMD, you can make money on that every single day if you wanted to. It's that volatile. It moves that much. That is a, Eventually, maybe I'll look into other different parts of the market. Terry is green today, $58.06. That's a great day for Terry. Great day for Terry. GDT, I don't believe trades uh, like Clay Trade. I think they have, basically, I think they have different styles. It may look similar to the same, but I think it's a totally different style. Totally different style. It does look a little bit the same, but it's different. It's different. Yeah, RKDA to the moon. To the moon, monkey, you would be correct. GDT says, not like Clay, you would be correct. And that's true. I see Clay. I actually used to watch Clay, but I really don't watch him that much. But if you can learn from anybody you can learn from, you might as well learn from them. You might as well learn. I agree. I agree. Terry agrees too. Terry agrees too. Terry is a great supporter of the channel. Terry, you know I always have your back. Clay Trader trades funny. I don't understand his technique. <laughs> Always adding and canceling orders. He, he I, th I think he just has it figured out math-wise or something. How I, I haven't watched him all that much, to tell you the truth. I rotate through uh, traders and watch certain ones and come back to certain ones and then go around. Just keep my eyes open on see if anything's changing in the stock market. See if anything's changing in the stock market. But one thing I'm consistent about is watching GDT's videos. GDT, he's uh, my uh, one of my most longest term subscribers. I have subscribed to his channel for the longest time. For the longest time. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. One more time, GDT. I'll get your name out of my mouth pretty quick here. But thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. You know it means a lot. You know it means a lot, and I really can use it. And I do not take anything uh, lightly, any support I get lightly. I really just am here for the here for the commodity or commodity or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it, but here for the basically for the like-minded individuals in the stock market like-minded individuals in the stock market rkda look at it boom what does this look like look look what rkda looks like it, it looks like on the one minute chart sometimes the one minute chart is a little bit funky look at yriv if you would have took that trade that was a great great trade on yriv i was about to take that trade you could have anticipated that remember we were talking about it earlier i really wish i would have went over there and took that trade but i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't next destination vwap momo dreambox goes next destination vwap yeah if it could wash out pretty quickly down to the 350s I don't know. It could bounce here at the 379. This is like a line in the sand, at least to me on how much. Uh, seriously, it's a line in the sand for me. But if it did wash out really quick to the 350, you may be able to get a quick pop back up towards the 360, 370 area. Maybe, maybe, maybe. RKDA is not done until it's broke down below 350. Remus says, and that's also that's also a possibility. That's also a definite possibility. Boom, boom, boom. Look at so sometimes this will go up for 45 minutes and then it rests, consolidates, comes back down a little bit. So boom, it's it's been resting. It could come. That's a, about a perfect point. The next 15 minutes or so, if it gets down to 350, that could be a good bounce point for it. Could could be a good bounce point for it. 
An another stock that looked okay, but oh am I was oh am I, but now it's looking a little bit. It's on the weak end of it. It's on the weak end instead of like a YRIV trade. Oh am I looks like a little weaker, even though it could go up to the VWAP. I don't see. It. I think it's coming back down to the 450s. Down to the 450s. Volatility's in the house. 360 is the key area to me now. VWAP previous support, etc. 360 is another one. So, Remus has 350. I think Momo Dreambox. Where? What Momo Dreambox say? Mo, I thought he said 350 too. 350. But Remus says 350. Uh, 350 is a good one. I think 379. Volatility says 360. 360 which is another great spot because look at that 360 is an obvious is a good great spot actually 350 360 that is a good spot i made order at 356 after it gets filled i will set my stop loss at 347 now that is trade now that is trading momo dream box that is trading if 360 breaks 350 will be soon after 350 will be soon after I totally, I totally agree. I, I wasn't sure, but I was thinking if it doesn't bounce here, it's probably going to head back down at least close to the halt level, maybe even below the halt level because this was straight momentum. Why was it way down here this morning? That guy around that 340 level, he had sold it so hard. Someone said there was a hidden seller there. I'm, I just keep repeating that. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but Boom, boom, boom. OMI oh, is bouncing a little bit. I thought OMI oh, might go down. But anyways, boom, it came down, curled around, and then just this straight short squeeze. So now all the shorts are probably trying to get in again and just want this thing way back there. They probably want down to like the 350, 360, I guess. That looks good to me too, actually. Even the 330s, 339s. Good eye. That's a good eye. That's a, That's what I love about the live stream. There's such a lot of great opinions in here. You can really, people are talking about saying it and doing it and just really understanding. Just, you can put your own picture in after people are saying things. Does that look correct to you? Or is that part of your trading plan? Is that your trading style? Do you trade off the tape or whatever? But is it just, does that look like the good support resistance line? Just like uh, Learning Today Trade was saying this morning on, on uh, what was Learning Today? Oh, three, that 350 area was a key, key, key level. Remember, 350 is that key, key, key level. 350, 360, like volatility saying. So that's a key, key level. If it gets back under the 350s, 360s, I'm not sure how low. I... Maybe you're right down there is a little bit, but now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that's a better spot. I thought the 379, if it gets below there, I I thought, oh, it's probably going all the way back down to the 330s is what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking, actually. Terry, it's Friday, so afternoon should be interesting. Momo Dreambox says that's a low risk. I have order at three. Remus has an order at 355. 355, one cent below uh, Momo Dreambox. Kind of get, get a little bit better entry. <laughs> get well, a little bit better entry. That's but Momo Dreambox, that is a great plan. I like your plan. I seriously, it's gonna ba you know it's gonna have to bounce around there somewhere. It has to bounce at least back up to the 360s, 370s, maybe 380, maybe even reverse right there. I don't know. I just after this time in the day, it's really hard for me to. I'm still trying to get. I used to not watch the stock market this long into today. So all this new stuff within the last three, four months, or actually two, three months, this is all new to me. Besides on Think or Swim when I would do some back testing, but this time frame is somewhat new to me yet. Somewhat new to me. If it breaks under 350 and clearly loses momentum, I'll short heavily. I'll short heavily. That That's a good thing about trading. You can trade both sides of the market. Maybe you had a, a short sell right at the high of day resistance, but then it breaks through it and starts using it as support. So you could change your mind and then go, oh, I'll go long now right there. And you can make your money back, uh, make more money, risk to reward. Remus is fearless. Remus is fearless. Terry says Remus is fearless. 
Terry, such a great job trading today. R Terry, that was a crazy great trade. Crazy great trade. And maybe the reason you stayed in that trade just a little bit longer, even though you probably shouldn't have, even though you probably shouldn't have, the reason you stayed in it, maybe the live stream was some help to you that was, you were hearing certain levels being called out. You were hearing certain levels being called out and you stayed in just long enough for that trade to work out. And to me, that is a good, good trade. And if the live stream helped in that matter, I am so happy with that. I am so, so happy. Boom, boom, boom. The live stream is great. Terry, I know, and the live stream could not be here without you. Basically, the live stream could not be here without you. You've been here for so long. If you look, 15-minute chart, market makers trigger stop loss and push it higher again. Yes, market makers. That's what uh, I love. That Momo Dreambox app reminds me. I love to see things like that. Where I think market makers always stand up at is like on sometimes like on key levels because they know that's an easy spot to get money for them. Easy spot to get money for them because there's going to be so much action in there. They can give it a little time. They have their little programs ready to go. Oh, am I? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, am I? I really thought was coming down, to tell you the truth. But, oh, am I? Why trade against that? That thing's been running for three days straight. Oh, am I? So that was basically easy trade. I just looked at that backwards. I looked at that backwards right there. But it's difficult to concentrate on both trading and live stream commenting. Marion, that is very true. When, when I that, that was one thing when I funded my account that last time. One, I had two problems. Two problems was maybe I wasn't really paying attention to the stock market like I should, but I kind of know where I enter and where I should exit at in the stock market, and I look for my low. I usually know pretty close to what I'm going to do. And then uh, my second problem was not holding to my profit targets. If you've ever seen, if you've ever seen any of my old videos, I've been doing the same thing constantly for forever, for I have to hold on to profit targets. Even yesterday, I'm a little, even though I only took a paper trade on, on, uh, what is that trade that's on, or that stock that's on my no trade list? The stock that was moving yesterday, our, uh, what was that? You, yes, you are very emotional. Later, Dreambox. Oh, Dreambox is out of here. I'm going to take a break. See you later if you are still here. I'm only staying for a little bit longer myself. I'm only going to be staying here for a little bit longer. But that stock yesterday, I have took it, taken it totally off of my thing. I have it wrote down somewhere around here. But anyway, oh, RBZ. Doing this, trying, yeah, RBZ. RBZ, did you notice? I, I did take a paper trade on that around 204 area. Mr. Potato's in the house. Hi, monkey. <laughs> Hi, monkey. Good to see you, Mr. Potato. Good to see anyone that stops by here. You know you're always welcome. The door is always open here. The door is always open. But anyways, on RBZ, on RBZ, yeah, that was a good trade right there. That I thought that was going to be a good trade, but wasn't sure. Wasn't sure right there, but that would have been a good trade from that 380 area. Oh, remove that. But RBZ, I entered at 204. And did you see when it was making that first quick little pop, that first quick little pop, I said, you maybe you should be taking profits here. I was actually on my paper trade wanting to take profits. But I just, if a, in real life, I probably would have took profits when I, I can't take profits there. No more, no more, no more. I don't know if any of you remember that, but anyways, and then it ended up going higher into the 240s, into the 240s, I believe, and that's where I should have just held and been confident in my trade, and that would have turned out to be a great, great trade, even though, even though RBZ is on my no trade list, even though RBZ is on my no trade list. There's a monkey. Monkey, I'm into the end. Boom, boom, boom to the moon. I know you are, Terry. You, I know you are. And I have your back. I have all you traders back. Seriously, you guys don't know what we have begun. The wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. We are moving forward like a tank. We're going to steamroll through this thing. We're steamrolling. We're not turning around. We're not turning around. We're not stopping. We're going to the top. 
Wait till there's just money flowing out of our pockets. Wait till there's money just flowing out of your pockets. Just like, just profitable day trading is such a great thing. Stepping up share size as we go. Stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. Money coming. Money is on its way. This is a revolution. <laughs> Doing business Chinese said it. This is a revolution. We're done playing the uh, games of other people trying to sell into us. We're done doing that. We're ready to take charge of this thing and show you what trading really is about. What trading really is about. None of this, uh, none of this nonsense. None of this nonsense. Hey, Mr. Potato, where have you been? Mr. Potato goes, hey, Terry, where have you been, Mr. Potato? Where have you been? Was so annoyed, missed a big win on RKDA. 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 Yeah, this was a, the stock market is turning around and the stock market is moving. There it is. Oh, am I? Oh, am I? If I was going to take a trade, I would. Oh, am I? I got to look at this real quick. Oh, am I? Oh, am I? Boom. I still think there's room to short sell right here, even though this is going up. What was I looking at yesterday? Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. 453. Okay. I, I, I think this is a short sell. But look, if you drew this trend line, this thing's going straight, straight up. Look at that. Boom. It keeps on bouncing. 463. I don't know. I... Should never trade against the trend unless it tells me otherwise. And I'm still trying to determine when it's going to tell me otherwise. I just do not get it. I'm going back to RKDA because this is the stock of the day. AMRN is doing another great move. Just like uh, Anthony was saying, that thing went all the way up to 1540. That thing's trying to bounce and doing uh, going right there too. AMRN is another stock that you could have made money on today. Could have made money. You did a monkey trade. Oh, then when I hit the hot button, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, wait. what? I, I missed this whole conversation. Was so annoyed. Missed a big one. Arcadia. Was looking for the reverse. You missed all the action, Arcadia. I didn't miss it. Ha. Terry took a trade on RKDA. I only got 12 cents per share, Mr. Potato did. So annoying. Nice. Hesitated on 297. Hesitated on 297. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you would have had to have been super quick there. Did you see that crazy action? 844,000, almost a million, million volume in that one freaking minute. Now that is winter volume. That is definitely winter volume. Boom, boom, boom. That thing was crazy, crazy, crazy. Funny, it's a trend. Funny, it's a trend. <laughs> Okay, today. Funny, it's a trend. You did a mon you did a monkey trade. Terry says you did a monkey trade. Well, got it at two sixty eight. Two sixty eight. Sure, sure. Oh, oh, I thought you said sure, <laughs> sure. W T H. What a beast. What a beast. Is there is there something else moving around right now? Something else moving around right now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get some. Get some. INWK. What's this one doing? INWK is a, is a grinder. Is not really a grinder, I guess. Not really a grinder. What about the hourly chart? These stocks, some of these just keep going, going, going. Going, going, going. So four dollars, four dollars definite support. Look at these long wicks on the top right there. But those will always sometimes those trick you. But you could have a tight risk whichever way you trade this. Is this up too high though? Whoa, it's right. It went right past all that resistance. It does have room. INWK still has a little room, but it's right. It went through the 200, the 200 right there. I got to get back to RKDA. I'm not really looking at this one. Boom. But that, that stock's moving a little bit. I'm not real sure how to look at that one right now. Terry is the one-man show on the chat. <laughs> Mastro says, Terry is the one-man show on the chat. We love to have Terry here. We love to have Terry here. If he's the one-man chat, that's it's all right with me. It's all all right with me. OMI. Oh, Will OMI oh, get below that 463? That 463. 
Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're staying a little bit long. You got it right there. He goes, you got it right. You got it right. Did Captain Fax trade today? That's what I was wondering. I was uh, wondering, where the heck's Captain Fax at today? I think, oh, he had to do, did he? Oh, he's going to be gone for a week. He's going to be gone for a week. I saw a cap. You did see Captain? Why didn't he stop by then? Captain Fax should have stopped by. He said, I thought he said he was going to be gone for a week. He'll be ne back next Friday. He'll be back next Friday. Captain Fax is another valuable member of the live stream. Anyone that's in the live stream is a very, very valuable member. Very, very. I think he, oh, he did drop in today. I, I must have, or did I talk to him? I may have talked to him. Sometimes I, my mind is just short-term memory. Short-term memory is gone. Short-term, whoa, why was that? cruising like that i'm gonna blow this up a little bit so we can see it man i really wish uh when it made its first move into the halt i would have had my charts blown up a little bit bigger Th this was a great catch for later on on the live stream if you want to watch the live stream replay rkda we seen it we caught it we caught it into the halt if you cannot learn something from this chart alone from the live stream then there is something wrong you really need to pay attention really need to come back and watch that rkda the rkda and how it moved what it did how what was that out of the blue how do you how to how do you make sense of that how do you make sense of that straight up was that short sellers covering right there or what was that? Was that some big trader in there just being sneaky, uh, pushing it down at the open from the 340 area? From the 340, and then he just sold it straight down, pushed it down as hard as he could, and then started accumulating his shares down there, and then just bought it straight up like that? We don't know. Did he? Was he collecting shares at the 340 and then pushed it back over the 340 after it came down here? Or who is that? Who is that a person? Is that just short sellers covering? What is that? What is that? Can you figure that out? Can you figure that out? If you figure that out, let me know. Let me know. Mr. Potato, can you imagine breaking the hockey? <laughs> Monkey, I swear I got clipped off me panicking on... <laughs> On 297. Maybe you talked to him. Not sure. I think. Oh, I think he dropped in. Yeah, Captain Fax. I I really think he said yesterday. I, I, I never made a, a clip note of it or whatever. But uh, I think he said yesterday he was going to be back on Friday. Next Friday he was coming back. Maybe next Thursday, next Friday. He is, seriously, he's a great short seller. He loves to short sell. He, he kind of short sells like doing business with Chinese. He short sells. They basically kind of do the same little action. Except I don't think Captain Fax would add to his position like uh, doing business with Chinese would. I just don't think he would. That is a good, there's so many different strategies like adding to your position like that. It doesn't make sense for your strategy. You'll have to make that determination for yourself. Determination for yourself. Anyways, I'm watching RKDA. Look what it's doing. If you could draw trend lines right now, we've seen this happen over and over again. You have a super tight risk. Is this going to drop off to the ground or is it going to go up? But look at this. Look, or where should I put this? Actually, I'm going to put this down right up here. I'm going to start up here after the halt. Sometimes I'll do this, put this in a different area. So I have two lines to bounce off of. Boom, right there, right there. You see on the five minute chart how that looks? Boom. I, I think it's getting ready to do something. It's it's getting ready to do something. Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? I think that guy's going to push it back. Or I think something is going to come back down. Maybe real quick. Maybe real quick here in the next few minutes. In the next few minutes. Or it may give you a snapshot and start heading up. It could go up. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking. Hmm. Let me look at this. Let me look at this. How much? Boom, boom, boom. Three million. Yeah, it's get it's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. DPL. Oh, sure, Rand. Carl told me about this one. Carl told me about this one. 
Anyways, I think RKD is going to do something. It's Friday today, guys, and I have to get out of here early today. I'm very sorry. It's, uh, I, I'm always going to stay till noon usually, but today I just can't. I have to get down. Mastro thinks it's going down. Mastro thinks it's going down, but if you draw those trend lines, maybe you want to uh, buy above 407, 408 for that quick pop, maybe a quick squeeze up towards the 450s again. Or if it breaks down, maybe you're going to... Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. Here we go. It's getting ready. It's getting ready. Here comes the volume. Let's see what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I, I thought in a minute it was going to do this, but... It's getting close to doing it. I, I'm i going to wait two more minutes and then we'll get out of here. Mr. Potato, he turns 500 into a million. He knows what he is doing. Who... He was down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. High alert. High alert. High alert. 408. 408. 413. 413. Boom. Let's see what happens. Are they just going to fake you out? Or is this going straight up to the 440s, 450 area? You'll find out. You could have a tight risk right at 406. Get in. You might be a little late to get in now. I don't know. Let's see if it keeps pushing. The volume's coming. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go up? I'll be long on 425 for uh, Mr. Potato says. 425. Coming back to 262-ish. Don't you, dude? I'm going to hang in there a couple more minutes because I think it's getting ready to break out. It's getting ready to make the move. It's getting ready to... That was quite a bit of volume. Look at that volume for the people waiting for this. Waiting for this. Basically, just buying right here. Now it's finally busting above. Finally busting above. Here we go. Here we go. 413. I, I was in at 414, but I'm still waiting to see if it goes. It could go straight down. It could go straight down. 406. 406. 414. This is bullish. Mr. Potato says this is bullish. Boom, boom, boom. I wish I would have took that trade earlier. OMI is going straight up. Uh, it's going up. I never trade against the trend. Here we go. 414. 424. I'm... This is where I sell too early. You see that? But it does have resistance right here at 430, but it has so much power. Should I have sold right there? Let's see what happens. This is what's showing me. This is just paper trading, though, but I'm just testing, testing, testing. I'm starting to like to wait for confirmation a little bit more. Instead, sometimes I'll still buy off support resistance. I love those trades, but I'm starting to figure out other little parts in the market. If there's enough money right there, if there's enough money right there, everybody's seeing this right here. Everybody's seeing this breakout. If it gets above the 430s, you know a lot, a lot of eyes are going to be on this thing. A lot of eyes. But remember what Learning Today Trade said, that 450 mark, and look right where, or was that four, or not four, three, that was 350, sorry. That was 350, never mind. Give me a good pullback. Give me a good pullback. If it holds above this 406, 408, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, what's going to happen? 412, 413, 414, little pullback, some people taking profit, how much we'll have to take, there you go, look at, did you get in on that pullback, uh, Mr. Potato? 406 pulled right in, pulled right into that support right there, pulled right into that support right there. OMI oh, was a great long trade, great long trade. Oh man, I oh, I was looking at OMI oh, this morning as a long trade, and I really, oh, I really messed up on that one. I really turned my whole trading thing around just from that sell-off right there that that will was saying that the other day it's not done even though some of them sell off that that is not that big a move that's not that big a move which is very very true i need mr potato needs a green candle mr potato's waiting for green candles Sometimes you can wait yourself right out of a trade. Uh, sometimes you can wait yourself right out of a trade. WKHS is moving too, right up to 
Oh man, WKHS. I don't know. That's right. In the, I don't know what that one's going to do. WKHS 416, 417, 415. Four th we'll see if it's going to push down to that 406 again. It If it gets down to 406, it's probably looking a little bit heavier. If it can hold right here, it's looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I need a green candle. And I really thought this was going to... I thought this thing, this thing should have just shot straight out of the gate, but it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it. Oh, am I was a beautiful trade on the long side. Oh, am I was a beautiful trade. Could still be. Who knows? Was meant to say 362. Oh, 362. Doji dude said coming back to 362. Yeah. I thought if it gets below 379, I, I think that's the line in the sand. To me, it's the line in the sand. But 350, like uh, Learn Your Day Trade said, is another. It's bounced off there. Used it. Here you go. Boom, 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 328, 319. Hold on, I'm almost done here. I do. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, here you go. Here it goes, here it goes. I'm going to turn off the sound for a little bit, but leave this thing running just for a little bit. Here I am. Here I am. Monkey, that's a good pullback if it goes to 525. Look at Why didn't you get this pullback at the 406 area was the best pullback. I took that trade. I took that trade. Paper trade. That's a good trade right there. You've seen it bust over the high. Look at that. What were you guys talking about back here? Monkey going to take care of some monkey business. Yeah, I have to. I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. I have to get some work done. Everybody's uh, doing stuff. I have to get some work done. I have to get some work done. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Man, I hope some of you took this. I'll be long on 425, 425, boom. It looks like now look what it's doing. It's holding again right up there at the 420s. Boom, look at this curl. Beautiful curl. Oh, here we go. Looks like it's, you know what it's trying to do right by that 450s is build. It's, it looks like it's going to do um, a cup and handle. It looks like it's going to do a cup and handle and maybe... Uh, Use the four dollars now as its new support, and then get up to the four fifty four and get into that new little range, possibly. But who knows? This could be just a lower, uh, another lower high right here. But it looks like it has so much power right there. 
So much freaking power right there. Boom, boom, boom. RKD. Hey, look at this. The low float small cap world is alive. 3.56 million float according to Yahoo Finance. I'm starting to build my short position from 450 risking $5. 450 risking $5. That that's a good if you can if you can stretch your risk out take that many I think that's a beautiful that's a good play Remus that is a you can't beat that play, four fifty to five dollar that's a good one right there that's a good I like that I like that call I I really do like that call. I don't know if it's going to get up to the four fifties though I think it's going to have to rest here till possibly after lunch. Possibly after lunch hour at 1 o'clock. I don't know. Maybe it just goes straight up from here, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. OMI was the stock. There it goes. 406. Yeah, if it can make this $4 the new support area, I really believe this could have hope to go into that new little range. That new little range. Mr. Potato says, bull flag, bull flag. Bull, bull flag. Bull, bull flag. Whoa, were you guys, what was going on? I didn't have you guys muted over there. Oh, yeah, I did. Boom. Hope, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, boom. All right, can, you guys can hear me in here. Or fell, or fell. Yeah, bull flag, or fell. I think the entry was right here as it pulled back down the 406, 408 area and just use this as your risk. The $4 down there is your risk, but who knows? A little late now. Maybe you'll, maybe there'll be another entry. Maybe you guys are still waiting for an entry. I just can't do it. If you draw a trend line, look at that trend line on the five-minute chart. Look, at, or actually, I had to switch mine around right there. So it was down here. Now I'm making it up here. So now if it can ride in between that four, it looks like it wants to bounce at four dollars, and then maybe after lunch make a new move up towards the 450s maybe over the 450s you know how these stocks do in the winter time this is looking like a winter time move a winter time move basically you know what i mean App, or anyways yeah boom 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 okay anyways i do have to get out of here i have to get some work done i really do because i need to be funding my account thank again one more thanks to gdt he is a uh Great supporter of the channel, basically, now. And I'm a supporter of his channel also. So, anyways, boom, boom, boom. I always keep postponing longer and longer. I'm getting less and less of my work done. So, pretty soon, things are going to have to come crashing, crashing together. And either I'm going to be a super profitable trader or I'm going to be out of job. I'm going to be out of job. <laughs> Oh my God! I mean, on the other end, not not day trading as a job. I either have to make this a job soon too. But anyways, okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Everybody, it was so good to have you guys all here. I wish I could stay a little longer, but I really do have to do work today. It's Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I will see you on Monday. On Monday, bright and early. Hopefully, we'll get to have uh, learning to day trade on again, talking about more stocks. I really think this uh, small cap low float world is coming back to life. Coming back to life later terry later mr patel remus uh volatility doji dude anyone that's here see you la later remus have a great day everyone and i'm, I'm out of here in five four three two one i'll see you guys tomorrow oh wait 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 i forgot if you have not signed up for Discord, go to Discord. You can continue talking in Discord. There's live chat. There's typing chat. There's everything. If you guys still want to talk about RKDE, the link in the description in the live stream is below. Okay, bye, Mastro. Bye, Doji Dude, Andrew. It's good to have everyone in the house. Look at this thing curling around again. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I'll see you guys on Monday.